Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen. In these videos, I show you one tangle pattern using the Zen Tangle method of drawing. So for today's tangle, I am using a micron pen, a graphite pencil, and a blending tool. Also using two inch by two inch tiles from zentangle.com and these are called the bijou tiles. Any pen, pencil, and paper will work. Okay, so today we're creating a tangle called Mystic, and I really like this one. It reminds me of the movie Avatar when the little wood sprites come out of the Tree of Souls, and they're little glowy things that kind of look like jellyfish, but also like maybe a dandelion seed. I don't know, it kind of looks like that to me. But when we do these patterns, they're not really meant to represent anything specific, they're just a fun pattern to draw. Looks like I already have some dots on here. We're gonna start by putting a dot in each of the four corners. And then we're gonna lightly connect those dots with our pencil. And those lines do not have to be straight that creates a little frame for our work. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my pen and we'll create our first little mystic. So I'm gonna do mine over here and I like to make mine go right over the side of the frame. So I'm going to make an oval shape like that. And then at the top, I'm going to draw a smaller oval and I'm going to color that in. I like to leave a little white spot, like a little reflection. You don't have to. And then we're going to put these auras, these little lines, curving around, just however many fit in your space. And now we're going to draw these little light lines that come down off of this like a jellyfish. So I like to start on the sides and I'm going to kind of just go off the side like this and just kind of round it. And the same on this, so I'm going to make this one a little bit longer. At the bottom of each of those, we're going to put a little tiny circle. And now we're just going to pick areas to come off of, and you can do a wiggly line with a dot at the bottom. You can do a slight curve. These can cross over each other. Think about purposely making these different lengths. You can even do your pen so light and you lift it partway through and you end up with a broken line. And that's a beautiful effect. And so these ones are coming off the front. So I just made them go right up to the line. But if you want, you can kind of jump up and then come down, giving it the look that these are kind of popping off and Coming down like that. And then off the back, we're going to just put in these tiny little bumps randomly. And maybe I'll take that end one and continue it down. So a little bump on the end. And that just makes it look like they're coming off all the sides, not just the front. And if you want to fill in a little bit more, go ahead. And we can stop and leave it at that too if you want. So that is the essence of Mystic. Um, we will add a little stem to it, but I'm going to wait a few minutes. 
Okay, so I'm going to do a couple more of these. I'm going to do one right down here in front, but maybe not right in the center. So off to the side a little bit. Add this circle on top, and I'm going to leave a little another oval for a reflection. And then put in a couple of auras. This looks beautiful too once we get shading on it. So I like to come off the sides first, and I'm just going to go right over my frame there. And I'm going to do a bump off the side and a bump off that side. I'm going to just put a few bumps in the back and bring these down different lengths. I can even make it go right off the page if I want to. So again, these tangles are not all meant to look exactly like something. Just meant to be a relaxing pattern that you can make over and over again. I'll put a couple bumps in front you can. All right, so I'm going to add at least one more, maybe two. So I'm going to do one right here. I'm going to let that go right over the frame again and put in my oval. Leave a little reflection. And then add those auras. Like do my side ones first. I'm gonna do a bump off over there and a bump over there. And I'm gonna make these go behind this one. So it's gonna go like that and then just come out the bottom somewhere. So you can't really tell anyway, but I'm just not gonna make them go over the top of that right now. Do some bumps in front. Try to do one where you break up the line, add some interest. Making some short and some long. Putting some bumps in the back. I'm going to do one more up here at the top. Again, I'm going over my frame just because I want to. Put in that oval, leave a reflection, add the auras. I like to go off the sides first. I think this one is going to be behind the rest of them, so if I make a line, it's just going to tuck in behind. It's not going to go over the top. I'm going to add some lines in the back before I forget. Some that are broken. And add some bumps in the front if you need to. Isn't this relaxing? Just adding all these little lines everywhere. Don't overthink it. Right, I'm going to go ahead and add my stems. So you can leave these floating if you want. Maybe these are floating in, in space, or maybe they're floating in water. 
but mine are gonna be more like a garden. So I'm going to add this V shape underneath and color it in. And then I'm gonna make a curve line nice and bold. And I'm going to go over that a few times just to really make it stand out. So I'm going to do one down here, make that little V shape, and add. And I'm going to let this one go right down off my paper. And this one over here, I think I'm going to make this one go right off the bottom also. Let's see, I'm going to put that right down here. Go over it a few times so it stands out from the other lines that you have. I'm going to darken the bottom of each of these shapes. We'll add some shading, but I'm also going to put this kind of a dark layer and start that shadow. All right, and then I need a stem on this one. Okay, and so before I shade, I'm gonna add just some little purposeful dots. These add to that mystic quality of this whole piece. So I'm just putting some little dots in, and then I'm just gonna take my pen and very lightly dab a few more that are smaller. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and shade, but if you wanted to, well maybe I'll do one. If you wanted to, you could go in and add some designs. So maybe I'll put just some little lines in here. You never have to stop when it's done. I wasn't gonna do this, but now I just want to. I'm gonna add some circles in that one, and then I'll stop. But you get the idea, you can always add more. Okay, pick up our blending, or not our blending, our pencil to do some shading. And I'm going to add shade underneath the bottom, like that. And underneath this one. And you can always go back and do your pen Again, you know, if that pencil sort of lightens that black too much. Okay, then I take my blending tool and I'm just gonna push it downward. Isn't that pretty? And then while my blending tool still has some um, graphite on it, I'm gonna put some shading on the side, just the left side. And if your tool doesn't have a lot, just use your pencil and put some over there. My light isn't very good, it's kind of hard to tell. But we're just gonna put a little bit of dark on that left side of each of those shapes. just to help them look a little bit more three-dimensional as if the light is hitting the right side and creating these little shadows. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pen and I'm going to ink in that frame that I made, but I'm gonna lift my pen when I get to one of the bodies. So like over this little body here, I'm gonna just jump back down He runs into him here, so I jump over and come back down. And then I'm gonna add shading on the inside of that frame, nice and dark. And 
I'm doing that because I want that background to have a darkness to it. So I take my blending tool and I push that towards the center. There we go. There is Mystic. As always, initial your work. Write the date on the back and um, enjoy. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.